By the time the Roman dictator and relative of the gods, Gaius Julius Caesar, left this mortal world, few in the Republic could compete with him in military glory and political capital. But Caesar did not shun earthly goods either. His entire fortune, including real estate and slaves, has not been accurately estimated, but still we can draw certain conclusions from the sources that have come down to us. To give you an idea of how large the sum Caesar operated with, I report that 1,000 sesterces in those days would have been enough for a year of life for a family of four. The following figures should give you a sufficient idea of the fortune that Caesar acquired during his years of faithful and faithless service for the good of Rome. To Servilia the Elder, a venerable lady, who incidentally was the mother of the same Brutus, Caesar presented a precious pearl worth six million sesterces. At the end of the Gallic War, Caesar had to sell about ten tons of gold, which turned out to be somehow substandard. It was sold at half price, which amounted to nine million sesterces. The father of the famous Cleopatra, Ptolemy XII gave Caesar a small gift with which he wanted to secure the position of king, I did not misspell it. The gift cost Ptolemy almost seven million sesterces. After his victory in the civil war, on his return to Rome, Caesar brought with him over 400 million sesterces, in coins and jewels, a third of the entire sum belonging to him personally. The celebrations he held on his arrival cost Caesar almost 30 million sesterces, spent on endless feasts, gladiatorial shows, and other amusements that pleased the people. With his own money Caesar built a forum that cost him almost 100 million sesterces. After the famous events in the Senate on March 15, 44 b. c. His wife Calpurnia gave Mark Antony and Octavian more than 300 million sesterces, which were stored in the deceased dictator's home stash. In fulfillment of Caesar's will, Octavian Augustus gave to the city the beautiful gardens on the banks of the Tiber, which had been the private property of Gaius Julius. In addition, each Roman plebeian received 300 sesterces. I think the above facts show quite exhaustively that for a man who at the beginning of his career as a politician hid from numerous creditors, Gaius Julius Caesar eventually became quite wealthy. Of course, Caesar could not compete with his partner in the triumvirate, Marcus Licinius Crassus, but still, he managed to save something for a rainy day. If you have more facts about how much money Caesar had, I am waiting for this information in the comments. I'd love to read it.